find it. Inside white seven. Inside the circle is made so that it is tangent to all three. Before we tackle the question, let's review some laws about tangent lines and circles. Except for the circle, the point that a tangent line has will always be perpendicular, meaning it is a 90 degree angle. Point outside the circle will always have two tangent lines to the circle, and these two lines are the same length. Lastly, we will need something called Huron's formula. And Huron's formula is this where A, B, and C are the side lengths of the triangle. And this is the sum and perimeter of the triangle, meaning it is the sum of all sides divided by 2. To start off, let's get the lengths of the lines between the end of sides 8 and 9 and the tangent points of the circle. Since we know that any two tangent lines drawn from a point are the same length, we know that these two lines are the same length. Let's put this bottom one as X. Since these are the same lengths, 9 plus X is equal to 8 plus X plus 1 meaning that the length of the line on top is x plus 1. Also apply the tangent line rule thing here, so where we know that these two lines are from this point tangent to the circle, meaning that the length of this segment of the line is x. Do the same thing above, where the length is x plus 1. From this, we get x plus x plus 1 is equal to 7. This means that x is equal to 3. Here, if we look at the shapes drawn, we can see that there is a well-defined area that can be calculated two ways. One, we can see that it is the two big triangles. And the other one is the sum of the 7, 8, 9 triangle, and the two four-sided shapes. As these shapes take up the same area, that means that they must be equal to each other. Let's first start off with the big triangles. We know that the area of a triangle is base times height divided by 2. In this case, the height is the radius, and the base is 3 plus 9, which is 12, meaning that the area is 12 or divided by 2, which is 6. Since the triangle on top is the same triangle, it is also 6, or meaning that the total area of this thing is 12 r. Next, let's move to the more broken down shapes. Using Hearn's formula, we can calculate that the semi-perimeter is 12. Plugging this value into our formula, so we get that the area of this triangle is equal to root 720. Next, let's move on to the four-sided shapes. If we remember, any line that is tangent and connects to the center of the circle is perpendicular. Using this, we can see that we can split these four-sided shapes in half to form perfect right triangles. Using the formula to calculate the triangle where base is 3 and the height is r, so you can see that the area of this shape is 3 or divided by 2 r. Since this triangle on top is the same, we can multiply this area by 2 to get the area of the four-sided shape. Do the same thing on top, where 4 is the base and the height is r, where we get that the triangle is 2 r, meaning that the four-sided shape is 4 r. After getting these areas, we get an equation. Over is equal to 720 plus 3 r plus 4 r. We push all the r's to one side of the equation and we get 5 is equal to root 720. Now we divide both sides by 5 and simplify the root number. This leaves us with the radius of 